Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcoming you to the road to my 211th Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Spongebob Hero Pants for the PS Vita. It has been a really long time since I've done like a true kids game, not counting Lego games because, yeah, those are technically kids games, but in some ways they kind of aren't. Same with the Sly games, but anyway, first true kids game I've done in quite a while. So Spongebob Hero Pants is a very, very easy Platinum Trophy. It's going to be very similar to Plankton's Robotic Revenge. But this one, I would say, is a little bit easier, though it takes around the same amount of time, maybe a little bit longer, just because of the way a few of the trophies are done. Uh, it is kind of a grindy Platinum, but here's what you're going to be doing. There's only 19 trophies in the game, so it's kind of light, so a lot of golds and such. Uh, you'll have to beat the game, obviously, but you'll have to find a few collectibles. There's one memorabilia and four or occasionally five missing pages per chapter. So about 75, 76 total collectibles in the game. It's not too bad. A lot of them are in plain sight, but you will have to replay levels to unlock some of them, which is fine, given you'll have to replay levels a lot to grind coins anyway. Uh, you have a couple of story-related trophies. All of those sort of are... Uh, this is the main grindy one, fully upgrade all characters, because it takes around 40,000 coins to fully upgrade all characters. Uh, the best method is to just rush through the second level of the game, breaking all the chests and picking up the big coins. That is going to be the fastest method possible, because you can get around 1,000 to 1,100 coins every 6 to 7, maybe 8 minutes, so... That is definitely the best method for that. It'll require a few hours of grinding once you're done with all the collectibles, though. Uh, this one's very easy. This one's very easy. This one is actually would be a little bit tricky, except that the boss levels, including the Squidward Saurus chase, uh, counts as a level. So, yeah, that's where you can get it at. Just complete the Squidward Saurus level without getting hit, which pretty much if you get hit, you die anyway, so... Really no big deal. You'll you'll probably just about get that one almost through natural progression. Uh, beat a level without dying. If you die in this game outside of that fight, unless it's because of a glitch or something, then you probably should quit gaming in general if you're over the age of, like, 10. Uh, these two relate to level 9. They're a little bit annoying, but they really aren't hard. Uh, this one relates to the very final level, completed as SpongeBob. Uh, this one complete level 10 as Squidward. And then become a superhero a hundred times. That's going to come naturally by the time you earn all the other trophies. So yes, it's a very easy Platinum Trophy overall. And it was relatively fun for a while, but it gets to be boring once you're just stuck doing a lot of grinding. So, level 44, 96%, 10,813 total trophies. 211 Platinums, 1,078 Golds, 2,653 Silver, 6,871 total Bronze Trophies. So, don't know what my next Platinum is. I'm actually about to start playing, at the time this is being recorded, Uncharted uh, Golden Abyss and Uncharted Fight for Fortune on the Vita. Finally getting around to playing those. Actually quite excited for it, and I'll be earning the Platinum in Golden Abyss and hopefully the 100% in Fight for Fortune. Otherwise, I don't know what my next Platinum is. There's some DLCs and stuff I have to buy and clean up. So, I will see you guys for the next one, whatever it is.